Hi, it's Andy here. <laughs> Keep fogging up. Changed my reading glasses. Um, I was just going to read a little bit more of my memoir, Bipolar Courage. Are you sure you're not autistic? I still published it uh, late last year. Um, it's mainly about online friendships, um, sort of to do with the efficacy journey as Bipolar Courage. Um, particularly focused on a very complicated connection with a guy I've called Maxwell. So, to use disguise for people's privacy, I've uh, obviously changed their names, but I've just left out really obvious identifying features as well. Um, so, chapter three, vulnerable to the flirt. It's just 32 chapters. The day I'd filmed the kereru eating berries on the first day of a New Zealand autumn, I journaled, feel attracted to M. Locke, but have not admitted it yet. He said I am pretty and talented. Xander has not talked to me since Xmas. So Xander is um, what if the name I've called my son. Maxwell wrote a comment publicly that superficial attraction isn't enough for a loving relationship. A meaningful intellectual and emotional connection is needed from both sides to endure through aging, disabilities and illness. That was a reply to someone who was bragging about his young glamorous girlfriend. It was deeper than as usual, <coughs> squabbling over political crap. Just get some water. By the way, I really did try my breast with breast, my best with, with uh, grammar, etc. And so sorry if it's a little bit, you know, awkward sometimes. Nice to see your face in your profile pic, Maxwell said to me. I was out walking near birds. I couldn't be bothered faking a smile. It was the first time I'd put my face as a profile pic for bipolar courage on the app. So he used to be like really behind the scenes about things. Just really, um, I don't like putting myself out there. Yeah. Oh, amongst my diagnoses, I have a social anxiety disorder diagnosis as well, but it's currently mild. Okay, so let's come back to this. It's good to be confident, Maxwell said. It gives me great satisfaction to feed birds. I enjoy seeing birds free to fly wherever they want. So this is dialogue back and forth if it's not clear because you can't see the quotes. Birds are said to be God's messengers to bring you tranquility. Maxwell was interested in spirituality with a broader interpretation of God. We had both researched the history of religion. I'd come to the conclusion that I didn't need one anymore. Too many rules. It felt freeing. <coughs> it felt freeing to ditch religion. In my childhood, adults at a church camp had tried to cast demons out of me because I was distressed. It forced eye contact. It clearly didn't work, as I still avoid eye contact. Um, just as an aside, clinicians say that my eye contact is fleeting, like if I feel more comfortable with them. When I'm looking at the camera, it's kind of, it's kind of like eye contact, but, um, yeah, sort of similar. Anyway, come back to this. My voice hasn't warmed up yet properly. Um, Sometimes I've been interested in spirituality, but I am wary of indoctrination. I'm not the demon others have rendered me to be, said Maxwell. I got called demon possessed with bipolar. So I said, you're not, you're lovely. During our chats, I felt inspired to paint store purpose. I just didn't get that painting, I still got it. Metaphorical self-portrait of a bird of my imagination lifted by music. The bird was reaching 
towards two link weavers. My goal of completing two novels, Pet Purpose and Saw Purpose. The bird had a golden heart radiating light. Um, I finished Pet Purpose and I finished this one as an unintended book along the way and then uh, still working on Saw Purpose years later. Um, hey, I was thinking about you and I fed some birds at lunch today. Maxwell said. I showed him the video clip of the kiddo I'd seen near the end of my walk. I'd felt lonely, seeing this bird sitting casually on a low branch eating berries to cheer me up. The song I'd been listening to at the time was What About Love by Heart. I know this because I checked my journal, a mixture of notes and loose visual mind maps, colourful scribbles with felt pen in my own language. Complete nonsense to anyone else, but my journals tell me at a glance my mood and what I was processing. I can skim through later to remind myself for my storytelling. Um, the reason why they're so significant to me as well is just because I have short term memory impediments, so it helps me to organise. Um, I can remember things from like since I was like one years old, certain things visually, but. Um, other things I blank out really strongly, so it's really quite difficult. I told Patricia that I used my personal triggers and create a story around them with art and writing. She said that she was personally inspired by me. If I had to choose just one subject to paint, I would choose birds, I said to Maxwell. Not Yoni X. I watched that video about your impulse buy. He let me know he was amused. Eggs are symbolic to me. In the video, I tell the story about how I impulse bought a yoni egg. Then, I frantically tried to cancel the transaction when I realised the shipping was more than the egg. An expensive rock. I would have made the purchase when I went into a dissociative high after being triggered by an account going by a fictional supervillain's name and avatar. This account had sent me a message that they were going to break me like eggs or something. Yeah. It seemed to be a movie quote. My mind immediately linked it to another movie that had broken an eggs related to domestic violence. I mean, if you're really good on watching movies, you might have a clue about which movies I'm referring to. Well, I was just vague about it. Um, what are they supposed to do? Asked Maxwell. Sounds a bit dangerous. Sticking egg-shaped objects. You know where. I got sucked into the claims of magically healing trauma, even though it's probably rubbish. The only eggs did help though, like a somatic release from massage. Just as an aside, they do get called massage stones. <laughs> Sounds a bit new agey. Yeah, my mania has a new agey flavour. I'm fascinated by rainbows, vibrations, and how everything seems connected by, to nature and mania. I can hum and feel the vibrations from my fingers to my toes. Mania also has intense orgasms. Now killed off by my meds, I added. I've never experienced mania. Apparently, it's like someone high on cocaine or methamphetamines, followed by a crash. Patricia told me it was hard for clinicians to tell if people have bipolar or are abusing stimulants. I get euphoric highs naturally. I take meds to reduce the highs that those addicted to recreational drugs take to try to induce. Euphoria feels amazing. I'm going to see where I will cut this video. Just go a bit further. <clears throat> Actually, I will cut it because the video will cut it anyway and I'll start another recording. <laughs>